Hello everyone, Ben Austin here, your New Rules Golf Coach, and today we're at the Deerfield Golf Club in Newark, Delaware. Today what we're going to be talking about is how to hit this shot. So here you can see that, that my golf ball has come to rest against the collar. Okay. Now, what generally happens when people are faced with this shot, they try to use their putter. Simple as that sounds, but what happens is as you may have experienced, is when you try to putt the shot, it is very easy for the grass to get caught between the club face and the ball. And what that does is it slows down the putter so it doesn't hit the ball quite as hard and your putts end up very short. So we're gonna be showing you a couple different ways to approach this, a couple ways to practice it, and hopefully it'll help you out. So the first way we're gonna work on it is we're going to be using our sand wedge, okay? Or you can use a lob wedge. And basically what you're trying to do with this shot is you're trying to use the leading edge of the club to hit the ball slightly above the equator. So you're actually trying to blade the shot. The reason you're trying to do this is if you can get the sand wedge to hit above the equator it will give the golf ball top spin and it'll roll just like a putt so what I'm gonna do here is put the ball next to the collar hopefully pretty slopey course now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna basically take my putting grip I'm gonna put the ball just slightly forward of center put just a little bit of weight on my front foot and maybe choke up a hair and all I'm trying to do here is basically take my putting stroke but trying to get the leading edge to hit slightly above the equator okay so that ball ended up about two feet from the hole so it's not a very far shot but that was very good now our next option is to actually use a putter but in a way you may have never tried. So instead of using the flat part of the putter, we're actually going to turn it and use the toe. So from this angle, if this is the ball, you're going to turn it and use the toe. Now the reason this is a very effective shot on this, on this is because when you turn the putter like that, there's less surface area. So that putter will go through the rough much easier. So when you hit this shot, you're going to basically aim the putter where you want the ball to go. You're gonna take your putting grip. You're gonna set up with the ball slightly forward of center. And on this shot, you can set up with your weight 50-50 or lean it slightly forward. I would say with this shot, you're gonna lean more towards 50-50. You don't really wanna hit down a whole lot. It's gonna be more of a sweeping motion. And all you're gonna to try to do is same idea with the sand wedge, hit it above the equator. So that ball ended up about one foot from the other ball. Pretty good. The last option is to use your hybrid. Now I remember back in the late 90s watching Tiger use his five wood. Um, I think he's kind of the guy that brought it to light. He wasn't the inventor of it. It's been around for a very long time. But because of him, a lot of people saw it on TV. They started using it and realized that it's a pretty easy shot. So with the hybrid, what you're gonna do is choke up. You're gonna base, have a very narrow stance, put your weight slightly forward. And basically all you're trying to do is the same idea, hit the, bu the ball above the top of the equator. Now the reason this is a good shot here is because a hybrid has more of a U-shaped design, whereas an iron is flatter. So the idea is this club will go through the rough easier and not get tangled. So I'm gonna choke up, and you can use your full swing grip or putting grip. I would probably prefer my putting grip on this. I'm gonna choke up, very narrow stance, lean my weight slightly forward, maybe lean your hands forward slightly, 
and basically take your putting stroke. Now all three of those golf balls are within one foot of each other. So I took the same length swing, same speed, and because I hit the ball above the top of the equator, it reacted the same each time. But try these three different ways at home. Give it a lot of practice before you try it on the golf course, and you'll find that when that ball is rested next to the collar, you're gonna have a lot more confidence on what you're doing. Visit BenAustinGolf.com, DeerfieldGolfClub.com, and you can also visit SwingReader.com. Have a great day.